So last episode, our Enderman XP farm was totally destroyed by the Ender Dragon because uh, our cloaking device didn't work. So today we're going to rebuild that farm. And I have a few ideas of how to improve it. I think that uh, since we've been given the opportunity to rebuild it, we should uh, we should improve some aspects. Oh, I need a, a shulker box here. Which is why we're retrieving all of these goodies. Now, I have a plan that involves a lot more dark prismarine than we currently have. So we're going to need probably a lot more resources. <laughs> we have 10 shards. Ooh, that's probably not going to cut it. That's probably not going to cut it. Um, so I'm thinking of like an ocean theme. And I'm not sure if this will work, but what I want to try is to include some coral and stuff there. Because I really like, well, you'll see, it's it's very watery. <laughs> hmm, okay, so we have a few ink sacks. Oh, wait a second, we have a little bit more than a few ink sacks. Hey, <laughs> do you guys remember the packager? It's been a while, and it's not something that I use on camera. Oh, <laughs> that was for the Ender Dragon fight, I actually got a package of arrows. <laughs> Don't really have anywhere else to put them, so we'll just put them in there. So what we do is we place our packaged item, which is an ink sack, and then we just press the unpack button. And we get all of the ink sacks that we uh, packed in there previously. <laughs> oh dear, I should probably go through the portal fast. Uh, so we need more stuff for the dark prismarine if we want to craft a bunch of it. And most of that stuff is here at the Guardian Farm, which uh, we recently updated with, uh, we have some foxes in there, and they actually kill the Guardians for us. It's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we need this stuff. Oh, hey, there's actually some ink sacks in there. So we need some prismarine shards. And that combined with the ink sacks, I believe is the recipe. No. Uh, does it have to be black dye? <laughs> wow, it's been a very long time. Wait, I know. I just have to do this. Okay, what's the recipe? Oh, it only takes one black dye. Okay, that's not bad. So we need to turn... We need a stack of this. Is really what we need. And then... Should be able to make... A lot. That's not a lot. Uh oh. Okay, well, we got a stack. And it's just going to have to do it for now. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent? <laughs> uh. All right, we have our work cut out for us. There is a there is very little of this farm left. <laughs> Which is good, because there's a lot of things that we can change and improve. Oh, rebuilding can be such a nightmare. So you have to take any little positive that you can get. And one positive is the floor. Just a little tiny bit of it survived. And that means that we can uh, use that instead of counting all the way up to where the Enderman spawn platform is going to be. And that is going to save us some time because the uh, Thenderman spawn platform also had some blocks survive. So all we have to do is just swap these blocks out with the, uh, the new blocks we want. And I'm thinking what would be cool would be to have a coral floor. So actually, let's not place the coral. <laughs> if the coral isn't touching water, bad stuff can happen. So we have a choice here. If we want the uh, the stone to be coral, then the simplest solution would be we have this like like a layer of water uh, in between, right? So then the coral blocks up here would be sitting on water, and so they wouldn't turn into their gray variants, which is what happens if they're not touching water. So um, the the choice we have is what do we make the bottom block here? Because we're not really going to be looking at the bottom block very much. Except for maybe when we're down here. Oop, fell into water. So, oh, actually, before we do that, I have an idea. 
It's a pretty simple idea, but one that I think will make a pretty big difference for us. So I brought the stuff to make a conduit because so we have water all over this island and you might kind of be wondering like, why is there water everywhere? Why not just, you know, spawn proof it with blocks, right? Well, the water is actually to prevent endermen that spawn way up there at the spawn platform when we rebuild it. <laughs> it's to prevent them from teleporting down here, like onto the, uh, the obsidian pillars and things. So it's kind of important to keep the water for a functional reason, but I also really like just how the water sort of pours over everything. So rather than just wade through the water and have it be all slow and terrible, I figured we could place a conduit. And that way, not only can we move a little bit faster, or wait, wait, we can't move faster. Conduit only gives us underwater breathing. That's why I brought the beacon. The beacon is to move faster. <laughs> yeah, I also bought, brought a beacon. <laughs> So we're gonna set up those two things and it should make this area a lot easier to traverse and I believe This should give us coverage of pretty much Where'd my there it is. Yeah, this should give us pretty much coverage of the whole end island, which will be really nice because uh, Should be a lot easier to see when we're in the water. Yeah, look how much brighter that is That's great. Okay, so now um, I'll just plop a a beacon down so I don't actually know if uh, a beacon can trigger underwater like I was saying earlier so we can give that a, a quick little try um, if it doesn't work it's not really a big deal it works that is so much better <laughs> a terrible thought has crossed my mind um, so technically we have not tested the contraption the contraption that failed us last time. And I did fix it. And, uh, you know, it should work in theory, but that's what we thought last time, too. <laughs> so before we start changing everything, maybe I should go and uh, just run a test and make sure that the contraption works. So at the bare minimum, we should get our shulker boxes out of here. And probably the beacon. <laughs> And maybe, you know what, just to make things exciting, we'll leave it there. <laughs> I had this whole plan where we were going to like do this test before anything else. And we we're going to go make a structure and then actually wait, we should save some of this so we can test it multiple times. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, wait, we need an end crystal to test it. Do I have an end crystal? I have one at home. All right. Just need a few of these to test, and then a couple blaze rods. There we go. I already have the glass there. So we just take a little bit of glass out of there, and I believe it's end eye, end crystal, pearl, what is this? Gas tier. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we need uh, the end crystals to test the whole system. I think technically it still saves even without the end crystals, but we want to we want to test the whole process. So we put the ender pearls in here first. All right, to prep the end crystal on the hot bar. Click the button, and then we get a little bit of time to go place the end crystal. And theoretically, what should happen is it should have saved everything we've made, um, particularly including the prismarine. And then once we place this end crystal, it's supposed to delete stuff, so things might get a little crazy. Hey, things got a little crazy. That's good news, believe it or not. <laughs> so, um, it doesn't delete past this point because uh, I don't want to delete the, uh, the bedrock portal. Um, but you'll notice like it deleted the top half of the beacon. So... What we do is we get out of here <laughs> before it drops to zero. Okay, it's almost down to zero. Hopefully everything pops back in. <gasps> oh, that's step one. Step two is the beacon. <gasps> it works. 
it works. Okay, so we can actually like build and change and add things and not have to worry about it. Okay, so this is what messed up in the last episode was that uh, <laughs> that placing and replacing thing, it just broke and it just never replaced it and it didn't save it. So it couldn't replace it. And it was just, that's why the dragon destroyed it and we couldn't get it back. This way the dragon can destroy it, but then we can get it back afterwards. Uh, we'll set this to be speed. So we'll do speed two. All right, so back to the coral thing. I think it would look weird if we had coral underneath. So instead, I want something that's holding the coral up a little bit. And I think we can use, whoopsie, we can use, oh, it's so much faster. Uh, we can use, for the third time, <laughs> a prismarine slab. So there's something I want to try out here, but you can waterlog them. And what I wonder is, does water pour out the bottom if you waterlog the top half? No? What? Hang on a second. That's a lot better than I thought. Theoretically, if we set this to be a coral block, that shouldn't turn gray. So if we want this to be a proper test, we gotta do this. So that the only place it's touching water... Ah, oh, come on. The only place it's touching water is right here. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, that just messes everything up, doesn't it? <laughs> well, anyway, it doesn't look like it's turning gray, so I think it'll still work. All right, cool. So we got the floor laid, and then all we have to do is put a lot of water source blocks on stuff. Uh, if any of these are missing water source blocks, there's a decent chance that the coral on top of it will die. Which actually, I guess, would make it kind of obvious if we miss a spot. So maybe it's not the worst thing. Oh, are we going to have to place it manually? <gasps> oh, the things that I do for coral. Look, it's a smiley face. <laughs> <gasps> okay. All right. They're all source blocks. That took a very long time. So the coral better look really cool. <laughs> um, so the idea is that we're going to have a few different colors. So the floor isn't going to just be one color. Maybe like in one section it's pink and in another section it's red. So like the, the books, that seems like a blue section. Oh yeah, you can see the old uh, polished diorite, which was what the <laughs> what it was before, because I didn't have a whole lot of options. Ah, I think that anvil just broke. Oh well. All right, so we can go place our coral floor. So this is right under where the Endermen are going to drop. Fortunately, that little like walkway where the Endermen like walk in and then fall down. That survived because it was made out of endstone because I ran out of other blocks, <laughs> which uh, is working out in our favor once again. But yeah, we'll make this be the magenta coral. And then I was thinking we could maybe wrap the fire coral around like the edge here. And then we'll put the yellow stuff in between. And we'll actually probably want to like intermix it a little bit better too so uh, like the coral has grown together more yeah kind of like this so it's like really colorful that's that's what i'm hoping for now uh, let's mix this in a little bit more make some like almost tendrils oh no oh, did i pick it up oh, maybe i picked it up cool yeah, yeah, this is kind of what I was picturing. <laughs> Look at how I'm getting rid of the water source blocks. So I just have like all these scaffolding and then I place the scaffolding where I think there is source blocks. And then I just uh, place and replace with a single water bucket. Oh, this side's going down faster though. Cool. Oh, wait, was that the only thing holding it up? Awesome. All 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there's only a few source blocks here and there. I really hope that this floor doesn't just all of a sudden turn gray. That would be horrible. Oh, it's beautiful. Slowly but surely, it's draining. <laughs> okay, that is uh, really cool to watch. <laughs> but what I'm thinking is there's a ladder over here, or at least there used to be. And what I was thinking is we could just extend this ladder. There we go, finish that off. <laughs> Sounds like we have a pseudo end farm working right now. <laughs> Another idea I had is we could actually do bubble streams in each of the four corners. Two would be going up and two would be going down. Um, and that could replace this, because this is actually a little bit ugly now that I think about it. So I was thinking that we could use glass panes, but I'm not sure if glass panes can be waterlogged. So let's just check here. Oh, they can. How extremely convenient. Yeah, so what we would do we would just put like a pillar like that and then, oh, well that would actually be kind of hard to place because <laughs> uh, they can be waterlogged. We would just have a block to place the water against because I think if we place the water inside, it's not going to spill out. Yeah, yeah. So it won't spill out. We can walk in really easy and we'll probably want to color these maybe to be... We could color them all four colors of the, the coral potentially. So if I counted right, we're going to need three stacks for each color. So... Actually, wait, we won't need a full stack of dye, just a full stack of glass. So we probably only need one stack per... Oh, whoa, we won't even need like a quarter of a stack. Yeah, one, two, three, yeah. <laughs> we don't even need half a stack of dye. That's good. All right, so I have all the colored glass. I brought some extra dye in case and the other colored glass is in here. Um, but <laughs> this is another chance to right one of the wrongs of the past. So this is zero, zero. It's the center of where the endermen drop. Um, but check this out, one, two, three, four, five blocks to the left, but one, two, three, four, five, six blocks to the right. <laughs> it's offset and um, it's even going the other way too. I, I don't know why. So now that we have a square, we know where the actual corners are gonna be when we're finished. So we know where to place glass panes. Actually, wait, we might want to be diagonal to that. Yeah, that way we'll be diagonal so we swim up like right past it. So then we'll snag a bit of soul sand. And we'll probably put it down actually a couple blocks. So we'll need to make sure. There we go. And then we can start placing source blocks and make a water elevator, which will be a lot more in theme. And I think it'll look a lot better because we'll get rid of this. And it also will have a little bit of the coralness because it'll look sort of spindly with these, uh, um, whoa, that's fast. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. These are so much faster. And now we do the hairy part. Replacing the prismarine with the uh, glass panes. Doesn't look like any water spilling. I have this like uh, scaffolding setup that's working really well. Cool. Okay, this isn't actually too bad. Hey, that is pretty cool. All right, this is our first big improvement then, because this water elevator is significantly faster. Like, come on, like that is <laughs> on a ladder. That would take so long. Oh, we could get rid of this too. Sweet. Okay, so these uh, towers are actually burning a ton of time. So I think we're gonna move on to the next part. 
So what we're going to need to do is get up there. Okay, I think we're almost there. Probably, yeah. So, yeah, look, we used to have cobblestone. Very ugly and very obvious from the bottom. So, we're going to change that. Um, we have enough prismarine that we could make this blocks. We have enough blocks, we're gonna do blocks. <laughs> now, I was initially considering doing a pattern with the uh, dark prismarine and the regular prismarine, but I'm not sure if we're going to have enough. Hmm. Yeah, just a green thing like that. Oh, we definitely do need designs. And I'm actually wondering if this this solo design... Oh, no. I just fell off. I had a, an idea for just like concentric circles with alternating between dark prismarine and regular stuff something kind of like this but on a bigger scale so i'm not even sure if that's going to be interesting enough we might actually want to mix in the cobble in between the prismarine cobble as sort of a transition i don't know if the cobble just looks too unfinished mm, that looks a little weird Okay, maybe we'll just stick to the bricks and the dark prismarine. Oh, my pickaxe durability is getting low. We better finish this XP farm. Okay, this could work if the if they aren't all directly next to each other. So, like if here we have a ring of dark and then two blocks of the bricks and then a ring of the cobbled, two prismarine bricks, dark, two prismarine cobbled, and then we'll have this kind of like um like changing color circle right around where the endermen are dropping so it'll kind of draw your eye to it and that actually might look kind of cool but i think that that's the plan for now so good news if we like this design i've done about let's see from there to there of the dark prismarine so i only need one more stack of dark prismarine which is pretty doable uh, everything else i have so much of an excess of really um, so what we should do now is just go see how that design looks from down here. All right, so there's about as completed of a site as we have. So it's kind of cool having it like slowly change colors and then there's like a darker border. I, I think that's all right. It's kind of interesting, but it's not too interesting because you don't really want to just be looking at this all day long. <laughs> and before we get too much into the grind, I want to do the endermite stuff. <laughs> We're going to call the endermite Captain Heckler because that is his job and he's very good at it. All the endermen get upset and run towards him. <laughs> All right, let's uh, try and spawn one of these guys in. Oh, wow. Second throw. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, he's in. Uh, can I name him while he's in there? Ah, there we go. Broke the minecart. Name him. Are you serious? Name him. There we go. Now, try not to die. Yes. Go to your spot. Excellent. And then we just have to make sure he is over the correct location. And drop him. Package away! <laughs> cool. And now we need to make sure that he is safe from Enderman. Cool. That was extremely easy. Usually it takes way longer to spawn the Endermite. <laughs> cool. And I already finished the inside here. I just used some uh, nether, wait, what is it? Warped nylium? Yeah, warped trapdoors, warped fences, just because they're blue. And uh, that way the endermen think that it's a valid place to run. They run there and shortly discover that it's not. <laughs> oh. It's working. It's working. 
Okay, so we can move on from the platform. We'll definitely need to finish up the uh, empty bits. Oh, I missed a spot. You know what I forgot though? The drop shoot. There's no drop shoot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I was gonna use Dark Prismarine for that too. That's gone out the window. I really like this design actually, wow. That turned out better than I expected. <laughs> I just started looking at the actual platform instead of the little little rings. I suppose we could copy that um, that design, but down. That's an idea. It's crazy. Initially, I was going to do like everything dark prismarine, you know, and it was just going to be a little bit of prismarine bricks. But the uh, scarcity kind of forced us into doing only a little bit of dark prismarine and it just makes the dark prismarine look so much better the dark prismarine really is the accent i, I was initially thinking of the bricks being the accent because they're the lighter color and nope uh this layer by the way is going to be the uh um the dark prismarine layer so i just filled it in currently and then we got a cobble layer yeah this is gonna turn out really good i think I did not remember that this was in here. I knew there was another stack of Dark Prismarine. I wonder if that's enough to finish this off. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe that was in there. I was looking for more regular Prismarine because uh, I didn't bring enough, apparently. I brought a lot, but apparently I didn't bring enough. All right, so I need exactly 40 slabs, which would be... 20, yeah, okay, we'll actually be able to see, oh, actually 50, that might be enough for the, the top part too. Dude, imagine if it is the perfect amount, that'd be kind of amazing. Ha <laughs> ha, exactly the right amount of slabs, no wasted slabs, and this might give us enough prismarine slabs, or the brick slabs, to finish the last loop. <laughs> it's all working out so well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. a little left to spare even. All right, let's go see if we can finish off the top spawn platform. I have a good feeling about this. Wait, is this the last little bit? No way. We have extra? Oh, it's finished. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need to put something there. Oh, let's look at this from far away. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was a good choice actually to go with the uh, alternating loops, I think. Yeah, look at that. That is nice looking. The bottom is finished. Okay, so we just gotta, we just gotta unlock the top. Pop in last brick. Oh wait, it's one of these. And then we just got to break all the torches. Oh man, this looks so much nicer. It was it was a good thing that it got broke, I think. In the end, we ended up with a far nicer looking farm. And I think it's given us a great theme to work in future episodes on the rest of the end. Oh man, it's back! It's been so long! It's been an episode. Give me XP. Wow, oh, it's so amazing. Look at that. Everything is maxed out with the mending. Oh my goodness, we've improved everything. I really like the design. I like the colors in here, and I like the sort of muted uh, but geometric shapes that we got going here. And I think we can definitely spread that to the rest of the end island in later episodes. It's uh, It's got a lot of potential. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy too that we improved the elevator with a, a bubble elevator that is extremely fast. I forgot how fast these things are. Like, pff, you're not climbing a ladder that fast. <laughs> you're just not. <laughs> oh man, it looks so good. But you know what we got to do before we end the episode? You probably do. I'm betting you do. We need to take all these ender pearls. And we're going to run that contraption one more time. 
Now it worked earlier today, but <laughs> you never know, right? You never know. So we'll toss these in here, snag the end crystal that we made, the extra one from earlier, start the timer going and go place the end crystal. Oh man, here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gone. Oh no. It's so terrible. There are so many Endermen. I should probably make a way of cleaning them up. Oh, you can see the beacon and the conduit too. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. It's all back. Oh, it all works. Everything works. Oh, what a great feeling. Oh, there's a million Endermen. <laughs> oh, I can make something later to... Uh, Make sure that those Endermen all teleport away. But for now, I am happy with what we've accomplished. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode, because that's it for me. So, I'll catch you next time. Later, later.